Good morning, everyone. A good Erev Shabbos. We are continuing here in the words of the Beis HaLevi on Avas Yisrael. And we are explaining in the third chapter of Al-Kain Tzarech Kol Adam La'ire Beliba Ava Ala Koyom. Every Jew is obligated to awaken in his heart love for every other single Jew. And if you don't awaken and arouse this love inside of you, you do not fulfill this positive commandment of the after the And there is a very big question that must be asked about these words of the Beis HaLevi. Is it true that you have to be ma'ira, that you have to awaken the love inside of your heart for every single Jew? What about a person who wronged you? What about a person who you know is a chayt, is a sinner? What about a person that you know does the wrong things on a regular basis and you've seen the person in action doing something that goes against the Torah, that goes against what HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants? What do you say in that particular case? Is there a mitzvah v'yafta l'reyecha kamaycha? You have to love that Jew the way that you love yourself? A wicked person, a sinful person... He's falling very short in his Avedis Hashem. He doesn't take the laws of Lashon Harik seriously. He doesn't say brachas on his food. He doesn't daven every single day. I know that there's days he doesn't put on tefillin. She's not so tzniyah. She's not so, so modest and the like. I've seen how angry she can get and how upset and how jealous she gets of other people. I have to love such a person. A person that I see is constantly doing the wrong things. You just... As a side note, as if we're so perfect ourselves and we don't make mistakes and we never sin and we don't fall short in our Avodah Hashem and our davening is perfect and our learning Torah is the highest level and our tzniyas is impeccable and we never say words of Lashon and Hara and we never get jealous and we're, our midas are so refined and so altruistic. Really? Is that who we are? Obviously we know that we all are falling short and we all have what to do, and we all have what to improve upon, of course. But we're talking about when you look at a person and you see them as being the sinner. So it must be noted over here, the words of the Seif HaChinuch, and the Seif HaChinuch writes that, the own, that of course a person is allowed not to like a sinner. There's no obligation to someone that is well known in his sinful deeds and the like. However, that's only if, in fact, you have rebuked them and you have tried to point out to them numerous times, you know, Shabbos is a really important day. You shouldn't be driving a car. And you know, speaking Lashon Hara is a very destructive, divisive thing. And you know, of course, eating food that's not kosher is, is horrible. The Torah itself speaks about all the kosher food. If you've tried many times and the person continues along the way, then the Sefer Chinuch writes, you're allowed not to love that sinful person. Otherwise, if you have rebuked them, if you have not rebuked them, and you have not made an effort, and you're just watching from afar as this person goes on their downward spiral in Yiddishkeit, you are not allowed to hate such a person. On the other hand, there would be a mitzvah le'afto, le'reyecha, kamoicha. Do you know the challenges that that person is going through? Do you know the background of that person? Do you know what is going on inside of their heart and their mind and their emotions of why it is that their, their Judaism is so difficult for them? Or perhaps they are what is called a tinek shenishba, which means they were raised in a totally irreligious manner and fashion. They have no idea what Shabbos, what Yom Tiv, what Kashrus, what Tefillin, what Lashana. They have no idea what it is. You're going to hate such a person. They don't even know what it means to be a Jew. And therefore, you're still going to have an obligation to love them. And the Chazanish adds on to this. And he says that in our generation, there really is no one that is even capable of giving teichacha, giving rebuke and criticism in the right way. And therefore, says the Chazanish, since that you're not going to do proper rebuke to another Jew, you don't have a mitzvah to rebuke another Jew, and it could end up becoming an avera, a sin on your part, because you're going to destroy another person with the criticism and the rebuke that you're going to give him. If that's the case, says the Chazanish, 
that nobody really can give the proper rebuke. That means that you can't rebuke a sinner, and therefore your obligation only begins at the starting point of the after lerecha kamaycha. I must love every single Jew the way that I love myself. I have an obligation to love the religious. I have an obligation to love the non-religious. I have an obligation to love the Orthodox and to love the modern Orthodox and to love those that are struggling in their Yiddishkeit. I have an obligation. Why? Because since that every single person is a Jew and every person is doing whatever it is that they know how to be that Jew, whether they know they come from the greatest of mishpachas in all of Klal Yisrael's history, or whether they come from the most irreligious and they're eating chazer on Yom Kippur. I have an obligation to find the goodness, to find the beauty, to find the sweetness, to find the purity that's buried deep inside of that neshama that is there. And when I do that, I fulfill the mitzvah of loving a fellow Jew the way that I love myself, I fulfill the mitzvah of Ahavas Yisrael, and if I don't work on doing that, Lekiem mitzvahs asezu, then I'm simply missing the boat on a mitzvah that I could be mekayim, that I could fulfill constantly every Jew that I see. I could find a way to love that Jew. And that's what we're trying to accomplish over here. We're going to put the sinners off on the side right now. We're going to put the Rishoyim, the most wicked of wicked of Jews, off on the side and we're going to realize that since I don't have the ability to go and to give to the rebuke another person I myself am falling very short in my own avoidance Hashem I can't rebuke another says the Chazanish you're not obligated if you're not obligated that means that you have no obligation to try and change a person from their ways if that's the case then you take a Jew on face value and I have an obligation to love I could hate the sins I could hate the wicked deeds that they're doing. I could hate the wrong behavior that I see them perpetrating. That I could hate. But the Jew himself, him I can't hate. He's a part of me. He's a piece of me. He's a tzelem elokim. He's making mistakes. Again, we don't know what people are struggling with and going through in their lives. And Khalila, don't hate them. Love your fellow Jew. Maybe just perhaps... The Avas Yisrael that you show to that Jew, that is going to be the thing that is going to bring them back to Torah, to mitzvahs, and to the proper way of life. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful Shabbos. A Shabbos filled with Avas Yisrael for every single Jew that you come in contact with over the holy day of Shabbos.